Hey everybody, Alex from Swamp Rat Fishing. It's that time of year, a lot of people looking to get into kayak fishing, and I'm going to give you some pros and cons, highs and lows when it comes to kayak fishing. Stay tuned. All right, let's just jump right into it. Ease of transportation. Kayaks, hands down, going to be a lot easier to transport. Most kayaks you don't need a trailer for. You can just car top it. You can put it in the bed of your truck you and put it on top of your SUV. That's what I do. It's a lot easier than having to get a trailer and all that other stuff that you're going to need for a boat. But a con is a lot of these modern fishing kayaks are really heavy. They are very heavy. If you're somebody who can't support lifting that 75 pounds unpacked up over your head onto a car, it might be an issue. And then you're going to have to look at a trailer, which kind of takes away some of the simplicity of it. Cost is another huge factor that uh, is kind of a pro for kayaks. They're a lot cheaper than your standard bass boat. A lot cheaper. Even tricking out a full kayak it's still going to be cheaper than a tracker or something like that. So cost-wise, you definitely get a win, a little check mark in the pro category for kayaks. A low to kayak fishing could be a lack of storage. Now, these boats are getting better, and there is tons of storage, but not as much as there is on a regular size bass boat. You might have to think about, like, how you're going to pack your stuff, all that. Definitely a downside, but in an uptick for kayak fishing, when you're kayak fishing, you can kind of simplify because you can't bring the whole kitchen sink. All you can bring is what you can fit in your little plastic boat, right? So instead of having 9 million rods all in that rod locker, you can go with about six and you don't have to carry, you know, all this tackle. You, you can't carry all the tackle that you normally would have. So in a way, it kind of forces you to simplify uh, before you even get out on the water. And I think of that as a pro. I like that. I think it helped my fishing a lot. Just kind of narrowing down to these are the six rods I have. This is all the gear I'm bringing to supply those six techniques. Good to go. A pro for kayaking, you get to get up close and personal. Now, I know a lot of boaters always argue with this one, but I'm going to tell you this right now. When you hook into a big fish and you're in the kayak and you can feel that whole kayak turn and start moving, when that fish is actually moving you through the water, it's amazing. And then when you get them up close, you're right there. It's awesome. It brings you closer with your surroundings as well because you're not, you know, you're not in a big boat flying by because that's one of the downsides to kayak fishing is speed. You get in that bass boat and go 60 plus miles an hour, zing all over the place, go to every single spot you could think of. You can't do that in a kayak. You're going to be limited on how far you can run on, you know, whether you're paddling or pedaling or even with that electric motor, you're only going like five to six miles an hour. It's going to take time. So a downside can be speed and boats have us beat there. On an upside, there's exercise. So whether you're going to be paddling or pedaling, you're going to have to put some human movement into that. You're going to have to either pump your legs or your arms. Hey, what's better than working out and having a good time? Downside of kayak fishing can be wind. Wind is really hard. Not even just wind, just weather conditions in general. Let me break this down. So even if you do have a spot-locked kayak, it's really hard to stay on a spot consistently when there's a lot of wind. Big boats are going to be able to handle that way better than a kayak. And those conditions are usually going to give you a choppier, you know, sea state, not sea state, but usually a choppier water. And that sucks in a kayak. You can get rocking and rolling pretty quick in a kayak. And in a boat, you don't really have to deal with that. I mean, you do, but you're not as affected as much as you would be in a kayak. So that's definitely a downside, uh, dealing with wind, uh, water conditions, even weather it's kind of hard to, uh, you know, because of the speed issue, it's going to be hard to run from a storm that rolls through in a kayak. You're going to have to, like, forward think a lot of that stuff. So um, that's definitely a downside. Upside, though, stealth. We kind of talked about it before, how we can get up close and personal into these spots. Stealth's also your friend here, too. You can move into an area, and those fish are probably not going to know you're there. You can kind of coast in, drift in way better than a bass boat can. It's really awesome. You can get to spots that other bass boats can't and maybe get to these fish that have never, you know, never seen a lure because you're able to stealthily get up into stuff that boats can't. Downside, though, we kind of talked about it with conditions, boat traffic. A jet ski zips by you on a bass boat or a John boat. That's annoying. A jet ski zips by you in a kayak, and that could be dangerous. You're going to have to deal with the wakes from other uh, fishing boats Jet skiers, wreck boats, all of them, and it can be really 
troublesome sometimes. So yeah, that's our list. Some highs, some lows, some pros, some cons. Hopefully this will help you make a decision on whether you want to join kayak fishing or not. I think you should. It's amazing. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. And remember, rising tide lifts all boats.